Hey guys, this is Yubin Hunted, and today I'm showing you my new um, rendering and quality settings and all that good stuff for uh, my Dazzle that I use on YouTube with my Call of Duty videos. Okay, I've already done this twice, and it's getting annoying because it always ends up being more than 10 minutes, so I'm just going to fly right into this, and uh, if you miss something, just go back and watch it again. First of all, thank you for the 600 subscribers, well, the almost 600 subscribers that I've acquired. Um, keep them coming. I'm catching up to my friend Arthur, and it's pissing him off, and it's really funny, so help me pass him. <sighs> okay, uh, first off, here, um, uh, brightness in the middle, uh, make it on composite, brightness in the middle, contrast in the middle, sharpness, make it between the third and fourth dot, right there, uh, make the hue in the middle, and the color saturation all the way at the top. If you ever see somebody's video where they're using a dazzle and the red over their enemy's name is orange, even though it should be red, if you had these two things, it'll fix it. Audio is the same, just keep it on. on. Okay, go to settings, uh, capture source, dazzle DVC 100. Even though I'm using 107, it says 100. Audio is on that. Uh, TV standard NTSC, aspect ratio 4x3. <coughs> capture preview is not checked, that keeps it from getting audio lag and no auto scene detection. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, presets MPEG one half. Uh, high quality DVD. Project preferences editing environment is not checked. Um, project format uses format for new projects and TSC standard. All this stays the same. Okay, video and audio preferences uh, check both enable full resolution preview and enable hardware acceleration. Um, this stays the same, and enable background rendering needs to be checked. Okay, so we're done the uh, Dazzle side of it, like the Pinnacle Studio. This is Pinnacle Studio 12, by the way. It, com it came with my Dazzle. Um, it's this way right now. We'll stretch it out in uh, Vegas. Okay, so I've got a video already semi-loaded for you guys. Um, I'm just going to crop it down some. That way it's not huge. I don't care. Okay, just click to uh, cut a video. Just click somewhere and click on S. It splits it. Uh, delete it. Okay, every time you're editing, editing, you always want to click on this button, because if it's at the beginning, it'll do all of it, but if it's right here, and you add an effect, this will stay the same, but the effect will happen right here, so it'll look retarded. So put it at the beginning, and first thing you always do, um, right click, go to properties, and click on media. Uh, upper field first is not right, go to none progressive scan, for field order, pixel aspect ratio, make it NTSC DV widescreen. And alpha channel none, rotation zero degrees original. They're okay. That makes it wide. Uh, these are lines up here. This will be fixed in a second. Okay, first, uh, first editing thing I always do. Go to color corrector secondary. First of all, make this line. Make sure that's at the beginning. Studio RGB to computer RGB. Drag it down. Click on it. Uh, it makes it, makes it. It brings the colors out more. Okay, then go down to deform. Uh, go down to compress vertically. I already have a template for Call of Duty vids, but I have, just haven't used it. I'm not going to use it yet. So drag it down. Make sure it's at the beginning still. Change the amount from 0 .50 to 0 .092. While you're here, you can uh, type in, type this in. Say, uh, save it under, I guess, Call of Duty videos if you want to call it that, and then just save it. And then from then on, you can just drag this, and it'll do this, do the same thing. Okay, you might be thinking, wait a minute, boss. These lines are still there. What's going on? Um, what uh, what's going on is you have to hit crop, and I have a preset uh, already made. It's called After Deform. You click on it. Um, check out these. If you want to have it exactly the same as mine, so that it looks the same, uh, you can change these things by clicking on it, and then just add those in. Oops. <laughs> okay, and those are them. And then just X out. <sighs> okay, there's the new thing that I found out that makes it look, gives it that HD look. Click on soft contrast and warm visionette. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Don't send me a message complaining about it. I'm calling it warm visionette, whatever you say. Okay, so drag it down. Uh, you see it gives it that nice color effect, but it's got this black cloud. What you have to do is click on visionette and take the strength from 100 all the way to zero that way you still have the nice colors but the cloud thing isn't there this does darken it though so go somewhere in the middle and see if it's too dark or anything like that 
Um, it looks okay, but if it was too dark, put it back at the beginning, call it to brightness and contrast, and drag it down from that list, and you can just change it from here. I'm going to leave it at zero, though. You don't really want to go past point zero four either way, negative or positive. Okay, um, properties. Uh, you only mess with the video on this one, so make the width 720 and the height 480. Field wear, non-progressive scan, pixel aspect ratio, NTSC DV widescreen, frame rate 20, uh, NTSC 29.97, pixel format 8-bit, full resolution rendering quality best, motion blur type Gaussian asymmetric, and check adjust source media to better match project or render settings. And then, when you have all that, um, click on start, all new projects with these settings, apply, okay, and then you will never have to mess with it again in your life. Okay, the important part, well, one of the important parts. Uh, go to file, render as, do this once it's all, how you like it, and all nifty and stuff. Uh, cl check both of these, stretch video, blah, 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 save project, blah, blah, blah. Uh, make sure you're saving it the type as Windows Media Video V11 or .wmv. That's at the very bottom. Uh, choose where you want to save it by up, up here. All this is where you want to save it. And then... Um, uh, click on custom. So audio. Uh, this I think this is the same. If not, look at it. Figure it out. Uh, video. This is where it's important. Uh, make the mode CBR format Windows Media Video 9. Image size custom. Make the width 960. The height 540. Pixel aspect ratio 1.0 square. Uh, frame rate 29.97 NTSC. Seconds per key frame 3. Uh, seconds. Um, override default compression buffer is 8 check that too video smoothness make it 100 that's where you get your good, really good quality from bitrate click on internet slash LAN you have to actually put in 5 space capital M index summary uh, keep that the same that's not important project make the video rendering quality best then once you have all your settings type this in make it something and then hit save template when you hit ok um, this box will pop up saying it's rendering and all that crap usually if you have a five uh like a nine minute video which is what some of the domination videos and stuff are it takes about an hour and a half to render with these settings but it's worth it because you get the great quality okay um and then there'll just be a file here and i just drag it into be to be on youtube then i go to youtube download it once it's done i just drag it into there thanks for watching guys sorry i went fast but i really don't want to have to do this again subscribe rate comment peace out